Jono. Very rustic here. Where are we today? It's a great place. Lots of things to do. Lots of events and festas. And I used to live here. <laughs> Welcome to Carson. Yes, myself and Mrs. Stick certainly lived here in Carsley for a while. Fantastic place. Lots of things to do. They've got a, lots and lots of festas and organised events. There's a cinema here. Obviously all the bars and shops and restaurants. Some great places for, uh, for holiday. If you want to base yourself here, which I would highly recommend, uh, and certainly if you're looking to move to Southern Abruzzo, then Carsley should most certainly be on your list. Unless that is, you don't like steps, because it's damn steep in places. Um, but as you can see, vehicle access is, uh, is around for most of the place, for most of the town, so uh, you can get you can get into Carsley, and there's a car park right in the centre, we'll have a look at that. But it still retains its old character. As I say, highly recommended for a visit, for a holiday, or somewhere to live. It really is a great town full of culture. Very much alive, um, and somewhere to invest. If you can see out there, that's uh, Salva Piana down to the sea. And imagine that on the hill, you probably can't see, is Lanciano. On the other side of Carsley will be uh, the mountain views, which we'll have a look at in a minute. To be honest, I don't think we're going to get the whole of this place in, in one visit, so I think we're going to have to come back and do a second one. Otherwise, we're going to miss a lot of the intricacies, I can't say, intricacies <laughs> of this wonderful town and some of the artwork. Isn't that cool? It's like a train. And you've got this here. Rub it up for the bath. Yeah, full of character full of secret places to uh, explore, full of potential. Well, this looks a bit of a job. De Giotto, 18. He used to live in an 18 when we lived in the UK. How many stories has that got? One, two, three. Yeah, you got a double entrance there. Stonework. <laughs> kind of a puce door. Oh, in fact, that's that's next door. That's number twenty. Be a great place. Cool, great project. Bit of work. Getting his stuff in and out of here as a builder would not be the best of uh, jobs, but nonetheless, it uh, it would be very nice. That one, that one as well. Look. So there's a few possibilities around here, uh, and they all look really good. Of course, there are some properties <laughs> that maybe you don't really want to go in. Jeez, somebody's pride and joy at some stage. Don't know if the camera can pick that up. That's uh, the fireplace, but um, I think the floor needs a little bit of work. <laughs> <They> smoke. <laughs> I think we'll leave this one. 
there are better prospects. Let's keep going up and up and up. Because I know the views up here are staggering. This is a nice little tucked away place, quite classic, classically carsily really. And it developed over time. I think that's a Nesboli tree there. So uh, it's nice. The only thing is, have you got a breeze? What do you think, Mrs. Stick? Do we have a breeze here? A slight breeze. When it's 120 in the summer, I think you need more than a slight breeze. But a nice private outlook. Carsley's been here for uh, for quite some time, so I shall put some info about this town up on uh, up on my Facebook page at Vario Stick. So if you want a more detail on when and why and the festa dates and stuff like that, then catch up on that. Cool, sun's come out. Almost at the top of the village, there's this car park. Now it's not particularly glamorous I have to say but it does demonstrate that um, the car has been taken into consideration and you've got somewhere to park and this is almost at the top. I don't know if the camera can see that but there are the mountains, the Mayella mountains. What a wonderful view. We'll catch more of them in a minute. A bit more of a view over the green countryside. Fantastic. We left here about, what, eight, nine years ago. This building was uh, the same then as it is now. <laughs> It'd be a heck of a job. Lovely stonework though. Bit of brick there, goodness knows where that's come from. But this is really nice. Imagine how much time it would take to lay all these bits of stone to fill in. It would take an inordinate amount of time to build. Certainly nothing that modern builders would do. Now I'm interested in this, in brick. Nice and quick. Nice garden, nice outlook. Very nice breeze. Up here's the church. It's not normally open, but you never know. Unless we try, we won't find out. Another project. Jeez. You need a bank balance for that.
it's uh, step time. <laughs> they never make a lot of sense either. Are they? Two steps to the drop off or one. But... That's a cute little house, that yellow one. I like it there. Lots of characterful properties in this area. These are nice little houses. <laughs> Not very big. Nice quiet aspect. Got a free cat as well. Don't know if you can see him or her. Yeah. Let's carry on. See what we can see. Start the up again. Oh my word. It can't be hard work. But it's fun. Good for your legs. I think. Oh, we get to go down. That's good. Oh, it's that little yellow house again. I quite like it here. Not a lot to maintain. <laughs> Very nice. I think it's fair to say that uh, Carsley has got plenty of places to see, plenty of little alleys to explore uh, and as I say further down in the town, that's a more modern bit of the town in front of us there, there's bars and shops and a cinema, the town hall, yeah. restaurants, gym, it's got everything you need here, it really has and there's lots of houses for sale, like this one here, that will make a fantastic holiday home or a permanent home. It's, uh, it's wonderful. And I think I said at the beginning, there's absolutely no way we're going to do the whole of Carsley in one visit. So I think we come back maybe next week or the week after uh, and go in the slightly more modern Main Street area to have a look there to see what we can see really nice I remember driving the car down here jeez that was always a bit scary <laughs> used to park it in that car park at the top but immediately you notice that the breeze has disappeared and that's not a good thing so if you want to invest here help yourself but um, just remember you definitely need a breeze. Wow. I am on Via Calvario. It's really, really misty today, so you can't see the mountains very well. But um, I think, I can't remember how many steps there are, but getting from the bottom to the top is hard work. And because some of these are quite big steps, and none of the treads and the risers are the same. So you take two steps, three steps, one step, and it's just hard work. Lovely courtyard there. Yeah, fabulous views. Come to Carsley. What's not to like? You're gonna, oh, here we go. You're gonna really, you're gonna really enjoy it here. It's a fantastic place. Brilliant views, brilliant facilities, highly recommended. Especially on a day like this. Well, I hope you like that tour. We're gonna, we're gonna be coming back here again, that's for sure, because Carsley's just too big a place to do it in one hit so possibly next time we'll be back here in Carsley so I look forward to your comments please don't forget to like and subscribe that really does help the channel uh, and feel free to share this video with friends who may be interested uh, in a place in southern Abruzzo so on a beautiful beautiful warm day uh, this is Variostek saying until next time ciao ciao for now <laughs>